Good morning from the Alton Towers Resort, where we are back for the grand reopening of Nemesis Subterra. So this attraction originally opened in 2012, so quite a long time ago. It did, and it only lasted three years because it closed again in 2015, and that means it's been closed as a ride for eight years. And of course, there's been all sorts of rumors and speculation, especially when Nemesis was announced to be closing. And that was, is the attraction Nemesis Subterra going to come back during the Nemesis refurbishment? And of course, a few weeks ago, it was officially confirmed by Alton Towers to be returning today, Saturday, the 27th of May, 2023. In this video, we're gonna start off talking a little bit about the history of the attraction and also talk about why it closed. And then we're gonna make our way down there for the grand reopening. I can't wait to get back in there and see if there's any changes that have been made. Uh, definitely, it's an indoor dark ride. It's actually four drop towers um, with a capacity of 40 people in total, 10 per tower. And yeah, you all sit in a big square. It's got multiple pre-shows and yeah, it drops down about 20 feet, but it feels a lot more when you're on the ride from what I can remember. Yeah, it does feel quite a lot higher. I think about how much has changed over that period of eight years it's until I've went in there. It's trying to remember everything that happened. Definitely, but uh, I'm really excited to come and join us here at Alton Towers as we make our way down to Forbidden Valley for the reopening of Nemesis Subterra. Here we go then, so we've made our way down to Forbidden Valley and yeah, there's going to be some sort of official opening at 9.30 Yeah, which is really interesting, looking forward to seeing exactly what they're going to do But yeah, first let's just talk a little bit about the history of Nemesis Subterra Of course, we said that it only operated for three years and it's been closed for eight but for a couple of years, 2018 and 19, it actually reopened as Project 42 uh, which was a scare attraction inside, it's the Phalanx out the front. Very quiet, the phalanx this yeah, morning. Yeah, they are quiet this morning. Yeah, remember Project 42? Yeah, I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. It was nice going in there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And we thought at that time, all the ride system got boarded up and everything. But and we thought, long that's long probably long. it. You know, yeah, we're not going to see it come back. back. Yeah, that's the thing. Really interesting. Hey, how you doing? You all right? Looking forward to it? <laughs> oh. So we're down here now at the entrance. And here come the phalanx. Hello, oh, my Can you hear it? The music's very happy. I feel like it's luring us into a false sense of security here. Oh, coming out in the lab coats now. The atmosphere's building. There is a large crowd here at Nemesis Subterra. It has come to our attention that false information has been shared regarding our investigation into Nemesis. We assure you that our extensive and ongoing tests prove that she poses no danger to the public. And as a gesture of our unshakable confidence, we invite you to view our latest discovery and to learn more about how we are creating a secure future for generations to come at the newly recommissioned Phalanx Research Facility. Apologise for that brief interruption. Uh, I can assure you that everything is as it should be and, and is completely under control. And without further ado, it gives me great pride to announce the Phalanx Research Facility. Open. Please continue and enter as usual, and I repeat once again, everything is completely under control. Thank you. Well, there we 
we go. The Phalanx Research Facility is officially reopened here oh, at Alton Towers. That is so much seen like the man from the promo oh, videos. Oh, here we go. I tell you what, I don't trust him though, Charlotte. No, I don't, I don't trust, trust him. him Everyone's really excited. What an atmosphere down here. There was some terror. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that was really good. I think the audio should have been a bit louder there. We, yeah. we could hear what he was saying. We had like all the backing music. Um, but still, really exciting down here. Literally, the atmosphere is pumping. Probably on maybe group two or three, I'd say, where yeah, we are in the queue. So. There's hundreds of people come down here for the reopening of this iconic Alton Towers indoor attraction. Ball drop towers, looking forward to getting oh, back on this. Wait. Here we go. Look at these crowds out here. We've got the big cattle pen down here at the front. And of course, that's going all the way back. Here we go. Whee! This is it. Entering into this queue line once again. The sign's up, and we have been told this is only a temporary sign. Hey, there will be a proper sign coming back soon. It has access Here we to go. The into the queue line. Hiya. This is it. Main entrance. Nemesis Sub Terror. <laughs> what a vibe. you got to love the vibes around openings. Who'd have thought it, eh? All the rumours, all the speculation. And we're walking down this queue line again. Here we go. Represent an astonishing research opportunity for this and I've always loved generation. the pre-show videos for Nemesis Subterra. It's nice that they're getting used again. Fantastic. Oh, we're around the corner. Obviously, it's 40 per group going yeah, in. We're too far away, which is good. Yeah, I mean, the queue goes quite far back. Yeah, Do you reckon does. it's down to Alton Manor? It wouldn't surprise it me. 100%. Yeah, it was well organised, though, getting everybody lined up. Good. How good was it seeing that? Seeing there we got some chanting going on. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed really seeing them it, it? from the videos. Of course, Alton Towers have been putting out, which have been fantastic. Oh, we've loved following them along. We have, and just I to see them in the flesh was great, was wasn't it? Great. He came out, I was like, yes! All is not as it seems when we had a bit of a takeover, they all kind of broke out and then he came out and assured us everything's fine. I don't trust that man. I don't trust him either. <laughs> but no, it's really good. We've been assured that Nemesis is in good hands. And there it is. So we've also just noticed they've actually updated some of the queue line videos as well, which is good to see. So you've got a mix between the old video playing and some of the new bits too. The videos that Alton Tower has been putting out on social media of the Nemesis track being delivered on the Phalanx trucks, that's playing on the screens now too, which I think is great. And yeah, the first group's just gone in. Advertised wait time of 90 minutes. Oh, I don't think we'll see it with that queue again after today. To enter is an extension of the original excavation as detailed in the Nemesis archives. For your own safety, you must obey all instructions given to you by the Phalanx operatives. Due to the magnetic resonance of recently exposed underground structures, it is important that civilians leave all baggage at the surface before descending underground. This includes mobile phones and loose articles of clothing. I love the animation on this video. They were really well made when this opened back in 2012. So it's so nice to have this back. Phalanx logo. And this is a restricted area. See, as you just heard there from the Phalanx, of course, all bags, including cameras, phones, all need to stay in the baggage hole before making our way in. So yeah, we're not going to be able to film on the experience, but I'm sure you knew that already. We are at Alton Towers after all. Yeah, fantastic just to see this back open. Great atmosphere. All these videos. You only see it briefly. The Phalanx survey team are documenting the system of caves. Because the sun's just shining there. Yeah, all about the caves and the storyline. So much thought went into these videos back in 2012. And yeah, it's nice to see they've been updated as well. Like I say, the Nemesis new track makes an appearance in there. I've not managed to catch it from here. Well, yeah, we did see it when we were just walking up. Here we go. Well, this is it. Making our way into the Phalanx Research Facility for the first time in eight years. It's back open, all bags into the baggage hole, and we will see you when we come up. And boasts a 48 hour response time to any location on the globe. Phalanx is authorized by most international governments to use any reasonable force to achieve its objectives. Well, after eight 
eight years, we stepped back into the building for Nemesis Subterra. And I've got to say straight off, it's so nice to see Forbidden Valley with an atmosphere again. Uh, that's something that we've not had this year, of course, with Nemesis being closed for the retract. So just to have the attraction back open again and see hundreds of people piling down there for it was really good to see. It's just nice to see so much life in the area because it has felt really quiet with Nemesis being closed. And that's the thing with Subterra. It's a capacity filler attraction. It's not a headline ride for the park like one of the roller coasters. It is a filler ride. Um, of course, 40 people can enter a group each time, 10 per drop tower. So it's nice to just have some additional capacity. And of course, granted, it does take quite a while to get people through, but it's something else on offer down here. And also, it is an immersive theme storytelling experience that fits in really well with Forbidden Valley and the Nemesis backstory. And I think it's great how they have brought this attraction back whilst Nemesis is closed for the retrack. And I really hope that it's going to stay a firm part of Forbidden Valley now and the story of that area for the future. I really I'd hope like so. I hope so because it really adds to the area. It's the capacity that the park needs and it's another dark ride which we love. Yeah, another dark ride. That's the thing. Alton Towers has got its good fair share of dark rides now. I just need to get Hex back open. Um, but yeah, in terms of the experience on Nemesis Subterra, obviously it is a 1.4 meter height restriction attraction. The reason being really because of that um, is the ride system itself and the actual drop towers and originally because it was quite horror based it was quite full on and quite scary which depending on um, what scares you it can be it can be quite claustrophobic in some of the scenes yeah it can be i used to love it when it was at the beginning and the phalanx was like sit down yeah. give me this give me that but it's changed completely from that yeah so basically before the phalanx used to be quite rude the complete opposite to alton towers customer service and uh, yeah that's kind of been dropped now they were kind of like sit there here's your bags um that's kind of gone now you know the more just you know alton towers staff yeah, they are. um in the in the phalanx outfit but a little bit quiet are still um, than maybe other staff. I don't think you'd be able to have a full conversation with them um, because they're still kind of mysterious in the storyline. But yeah, then of course, bags go into the baggage hold out the front. No filming or anything like that beyond that point. You then make your way into the um, kind of pre-show area where you've got 40 um, round black spots on the floor. You all stand on one of those and look at the tellies, which are all the way around the room now, not just at the front, but also at the back. And yeah, you watch a pre-show. It's the same pre-show as what it used to be. However, they've updated more of the brand around the side it's black and red now to fit with the new nemesis color scheme the phalanx truck outside and the general vibe that forbidden valley is going down um but yeah i do like that it kind of tells you how you're going to go down um, in an elevator down to the central core and the observation chamber where you're going to get to see an egg from the nemesis site and um, they've been doing all this excavation um but they've brought this egg out um, to be observed for you to come and see and it's actually there in front of you and this one's being made safe for public viewing basically i think the storyline for nemesis subterra is just so well done i do really enjoy it yeah you watch the visuals and you see like an elevator making its way down various different levels and then of course you step into that elevator of course it doesn't actually move you know uh, but it feels like it the floor vibrates the lights uh, behind the doors make it look like the elevator's traveling down there's like a red beacon in there spinning round and yeah it actually does feel like you're going down when really the lift isn't going anywhere it doesn't move at all it's just staying in exactly the same <laughs> space but yeah because you've watched that pre-show psychologically you think you are actually being taken down underneath the Vidden valley um, um, yeah, you're in the lift uh, probably for about 30 seconds. Then you make your way down. The doors open and straight away, uh, the cold really hits you. I'd forgotten that from eight years it ago. It is so cold in there, but it sort of fits the theme that you're down like the tunnels. Yeah, because at the top, it's, it's quite warm. And then, yeah, you head your head down into the elevator and you come out in, in the central so core. Cold. And, and it was really chilly down there. The AC is blasting out. Um, in there, you've got all the rocks on the walls. It's really well themed in that room because, yeah, it's all lit up blue in there now, which is nice. Um, and then, yeah, you just kind of walk down this corridor, see all the rocks and then yeah you're greeted with the observation chamber when you step in you see all the four drop towers which are all of course opposite each other in a big square in the middle you've got the main part of the chamber itself um, with the egg which you can see is on there it's not hatched or anything but the egg is there in front of you and lots of kind of scientific um, equipment all the way around and it kind of reminds me of like a lab kind of setting in there yeah it's like the eggs being monitored with like lights on there so they're trying to see what's inside there yeah so if there was any movements like all the lights would go and everything like that um yeah the drop tower in terms of the ride system manufactured by abc rides the same company that did the drop towers and the dungeons if you've done them before and uh, yeah all the drop towers are actually already parked in position at the top um ready to go down so basically normal drop towers um, you have to climb up and then drop down whereas with this one you are actually already in that position which is great so you sit down restraints come down a little bit of audio saying welcome to the observation chamber here's the egg um it's been sat dormant however um then the lights go off and what actually happens is um, the egg, well the lights come back on and, and you see that the egg has hatched. How this effect actually works, it's very simple, the table that it's on like, 
ruining the magic for you now. It literally just spins round. Like, you know, the other one goes underneath it, that spins up. But you don't see that happen because it's dark. At the end, you might spot it just shaking a little bit. That's because it's turned round. And then, yeah, the egg has hatched. Uh, and then it's like, oh, what's going on? All the lights, all the music's going, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's like everything going on in there. And then you're seeing this egg hatch and you're like, oh my God, what has hatched out of this egg? And then the lights go off and you actually drop down um, into the pit. It's only a 20 foot drop. However, it's not a free fall. It is pushed down. So it does get quite forceful. I think it's about a 40 mile an hour plunge yeah, actually it does on there. A punch, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it does it really quick, um, which is great. And then of course you make your way down um, into the bottom. You can see all these other nemesis eggs. Obviously the one that had been brought up, um, which was safe apparently. You see all the hatched eggs down the bottom. You only see them light up for a short period of time, and then after that, um, literally you start to raise up in the dark. And along with that, you've got some other special effects there. So you've got like back pokers. There's like blasts of air. There's water, and there's leg tickler. Yeah, I do <laughs> like that. Yeah, my favourite is the back prodder, like literally prodding you in the back. Uh, and it's quite full on because you've got the sound of air cannons, a lot of noise happening. It's quite a full on experience at that point. Um, like I say, it can be quite a sensory overload maybe for some people, but I do like that because it makes you feel quite claustrophobic and like, oh, we're trapped in this ride system. Everything's going wrong around us. You know, this is the monster, Nemesis, the beast coming for us, which I do really like. Um, you slowly climb back up and then, yeah, as soon as you get into that position again in the chamber, um, all the lights are flashing. It's, yeah, we must get you out, evacuate the chamber, um, restraints are up and you're straight over to some doors over on the other side when you make your way into another lift. And then with this lift, it all starts off as normal once the doors have closed and then the lights go off. The floor in this one moves a bit like a, a motion simulator in a way. It proper moves like that, it? Doesn't really it? gets people because they don't understand what's happening. So everyone's just there like this, which is quite cool. The room's got lots of smoking, flashing lights. If you scare the lifts, elevators, like it's probably not for you yeah. in there. Like it's quite terrifying. Um, you know, it gets quite full on at that point. And that's why it has got a 1.4 height restriction. Not really for the ride as such. Um, of course, that's part of it, but also because Everything of the, else. it's quite claustrophobic and if little kids could get really scared yeah, in there, couldn't they? Could they? Uh, sensory overload, which I, I really like. I love how full on it is. Um, and then of course, the lift opens up and now you're greeted by a, a scientific member of the phalanx who's wearing like a lab coat, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, they've got the lab coat, they've got some black glass on and then a torch. It was like, have you seen the egg? Have you seen it? We've got to get out. It was like the black lab coat, not white, um, black, which you can see from uh, in the videos what Alton Towers have been doing with Nemesis last year, um, like the closing day. It was all them, them outfits, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Red, which I did really like. I love the whole black and red theme that's going on and carrying on throughout the story and everything like that. Uh, and then of course, yeah, um, you make your way out through what used to be more uh, described as a scare maze. Now that section, I wouldn't say it's scare mazy. You make your way through, there's some cages, some flashing lights and strobes. Um, but yeah, mainly you're walking through. There's just the one actor, one performer we saw in there. Yeah, I didn't see any more in there. I do feel like they could have done a little bit more towards the end, because as you're getting towards the end, it's just like white walls. It's like some sort of scientific with like some yeah. screens, but I wasn't a massive fan of that, to be honest. That's the part that's had the most change. In general, pretty much everything was the same, other than a couple of updates to the storyline um, and visuals. Pretty much everything was the same as it was in 2012. Um, just a little bit more modern, like for example, there was a bit more background music uh, with like a drone in the background, which I did like actually, especially in the pre-show, I had a bit more atmosphere. But yeah, this last room, it was like a, a mini kind of lab. There was a screen on the side, uh, kind of like a heat map, I think it was, as yeah, you walked past. Yeah, it was past. like showing you as you walked past with the heat, but it didn't really do a lot for me, the end. Uh. No, I think it was more just, uh, instead of packing it full of actors and having a scare maze at the end, it means it doesn't require as many staff now. Which but, is understandable. Yeah, they could have done a little bit more there, I think, at the end, but at least they've not packed it full of actors and then a few weeks time from now that's all going to be gone yeah. you know so i'd rather it be like that and stay like that and for, for the for the long term really um but there you go that's nemesis subterra it's back open it's a great experience it's got a 90 minute queue today of course it's not worth a 90 minute wait um if you're coming to alton towers i'd say it's worth 30 maybe 40 minutes max what would you say i'd probably say about 25 to 30 minutes i'd say yeah you don't want to be waiting too long for it it's a filler attraction it's not a major ride but it's so nice to have it back the whole experience in general including the pre-shows the ride and then the exit probably takes about seven or eight minutes i yeah, would say, I'd say so. um for the full experience but so uh, there you go it's back nemesis subterra i can't believe it back open at alton towers let's head back up there and go and have a look outside we've got the truck to see and also go and have a good look around the shop as well so back up here now by nemesis subterra and yeah here's a look at the phalanx truck just outside here i've got to say i do really like the new color scheme on this black and red yeah you can see the red stripes down there on the side the phalanx logo on there 
And yeah, this kind of fits with the whole kind of theme that Forbidden Valley seems to be going down for 2024 and the return of Nemesis with the black and red colour scheme. Yeah, I do really like this. What are you thinking, Charlotte? I really like that. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, it does. It looks a lot more modern to fit with the phalanx and the whole kind of story now uh, they've gone for. Instead of just like an army tank really outside, it more fits in now, doesn't it? gave it a freshen up because it fits in so much better. And especially with the black trucks that the track was being delivered on as well. That, really. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it all kind of fits like one of the Phalanx vehicles, doesn't it? Now, like the trucks um, that will bring the new Nemesis track in. You've got this vehicle out here. It'd be really nice to see possibly the Mushroom Cloud tour bus down at Nemesis oh, painted like up, maybe. That would be really nice yeah, I mean, I don't know if it would be black and red or not into a Phalanx vehicle because obviously the idea was it's a tour bus having a kind of a tour around. It's just falling into the Nemesis pit, but uh, I think we're going to see a lot just of changes. It would be nice. Yeah, definitely. But so uh, yeah, it's going to have a look down at the shop now. And we can also see just over here, the boards have been updated to say welcome to the Phalanx Research Facility opening today. Strength in control. There you go. So we're just down here at Squadron Supplies, which is the shop just down here. But yeah, you can't go in it. You can only look. You can buy things, but you can't go over into it, which seems very strange. But here we go. Here's a look at the merchandise. Yeah, you've got the Phalanx logo on all the hoodies there over at the back. And yeah, just down here too. Yeah, you can see the price is just over there too. Over at the back, you've got some mugs down there, you've got some helmets, some pin badges just off there to the right hand side. Well, a brief look there at Squadron Supplies. I was hoping to show it in a bit more detail, to be honest. But yeah, literally, you cannot step inside you've just got to look at the merchandise from a distance which i've got to say to me that seems bizarre uh, i might have purchased something in there but yeah i can't get close can't feel the quality of it all well, yeah, but interesting want to have a look and, and yeah. feel and see the sizes and stuff like that if you can't go into the shop then you're not yeah. going to buy are you seems a bit weird that does to me yeah i'm quite surprised that uh, they've opened it up and to not actually let you in there like seems a bit silly. it does seem a bit weird that i was able to see it in a bit more detail but uh, yeah it was like no, you can't come in. Yeah, it just kind of felt a bit off-putting in a way. It like, did. you know, everybody kind of standing out the front and just wanted to go in the shop, show you what was there, have a good look. But it was kind of like they were just looking you can't and come in. you can't come in. So I thought, no, we'll just kind of come away from Do that. A brief moment. Yeah, that's the thing. But uh, we have heard on the grapevine that Nemesis may actually be getting a shop um, when the area reopens next year. Of course, Forbidden Valley is going through a huge transformation. And yeah, that's really interesting. So hopefully that'll be a shop that we can walk inside and uh, actually see the items. I think it's needed though a shop is definitely needed in this area and a shop you can actually go in <laughs> yeah back in the day there used to be a shop down here for nemesis but uh, yeah there's a few rumblings about that at the moment which is certainly very interesting well there we go then that's the opening day of nemesis subterra and a lot of people have come down to come and check it out today which is fantastic i tell you what the opening day of nemesis next year is going to be crazy it's it going to be gonna busy be so busy. <laughs> for such an iconic ride, like hundreds have come down for some terrace today, I but going to hit like three or four hours. I think so. It's going to be like 1994 all Did over again mean? down here. But yeah, I'm so glad we got to meet the head of the phalanx today. Like that really made it for me seeing him and doing the opening down there. Fantastic. Nemesis is closed, but subterrorism after eight years, it's back open. Well, there we go. A day in the history books for Alton Towers, the 27th of May, 2023, the reopening date of Nemesis Subterra. A dark ride that many of us thought probably is never going to open again. We thought, could it get turned into a toilet block or a shop or something? But now it's reopened as its 2012 ride, which I'm really pleased to see, Charlotte. I'm just so glad to see it open. Forbidden Valley feels so quiet this season with Nemesis being closed. So now that Nemesis Subterra is back, it's going to bring life back to the area. Definitely. And hopefully it's going to stay for the long term as well i don't just want this to be open for this year and then closed again or or open for a couple of years and shut it should be a permanent addition now to forbidden valley especially with them spending all this money on nemesis and it seems like the storyline uh, for the whole area has been expanded on it fits in perfectly doesn't it it really does it's just so nice to see people enjoying it again it's more capacity for the park as well and it is a very immersive experience granted it's not one of the best dark rides out there however what they've got um, is really nice with the drop towers it's something alton towers doesn't have they can't build above the trees so an underground drop tower is great um, for this park. And technically, as much as it's a dark ride, it's also a permanent flat ride too, in a way. Um, because, yeah, it's something what this park really needed. Just some more operational for permanent flat rides. Oh, it's needed so much. We need some more. And just going more into the history of it again, of course, the unfortunate event of the Smiler accident back in 2015 had a real negative impact on the park. And that did mean uh, the ride closed because of staffing after that, really. Um, it was more a really dark period. A lot of cutbacks were made to operations. 
that was a highly staffed ride, hence why it left. We also saw Ripsaw um, that was left the park. Child in the Chocolate Factory, Hex closed for a year shortly after. Uh, it was a dark period in the park's history, so that's the main reason uh, why that attraction closed. But it's so nice to have it back open, and it's been a great opening day. I think Alton Towers um, have done a really good job with the opening ceremony. I think the audio needed to turn up a little bit in the background, but we could hear what the uh, Phalanx operative was saying. Oh, I really enjoyed that. The main man himself came out, and I think that really made it. Yeah, Alton Towers, I've got to say, you're doing a great job really with all good. the videos, building up the storyline, and we look forward to uh, following it more. Anyway, of course, there's going to be one more Nemesis construction update coming in the next few days um, before our USA road trip. Um, so stay tuned for that. It'll be coming up because there's been a few more developments today uh, that we're going to update you on in the next couple of days. So, so stay, stay tuned. tuned. It will be coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide. Um, but yeah, there we go. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you all soon.